Jackson in a heavyweight bout on Saturday. His main card, Junior Dos Santos and Searle Gain meet at UFC 256 at the UFC's Apex facility in Las Vegas. The prelims kick off at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN2, ESPN+, Plus, followed by the main card on pay-per-view at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Dos Santos 21-8 steps in as the decisive underdog. He has a 4-inch reach disadvantage against his unbeaten counterpart. In addition, he has 4.59 significant strikes landed per minute to 5.12 for gain, and he is slightly behind in significant strikes accuracy percentage at 49.71 to 48.24. Dos Santos enters this one on a three-bout losing skid, falling to Francis Ngannou, Curtis Blades and Jerzino Rosenstruik, all by way of Coke TKO. In fact, each of Dos Santos' past five fights have finished via knockout, including a pair of wins. He is 3-3 since his title shot loss to Stipe Miocic May 13, 2017, which seems so long ago now. Gain 6-0 has quickly risen to be one of the best in the division. He has just six pro fights under his belt, but they're all wins, including a 3-0 mark since arriving at the UFC level. Two of those victories have come via submission, including a round one stoppage in his UFC debut against Rafael Pessoa August 10, 2019. He went the distance against Tanner Bozer last time out on December 21, 2019, his first time being unable to get a stoppage in his six outings. Place your legal, online UFC 256 sports bets in CO, in, NJ, TN and WV at BetMGM, the king of sportsbooks. New customer offer. Terms and conditions apply. Bet now. Junior Dos Santos vs. Searle Gain. Betting odds, predictions and picks odds via BetMGM, Access USA Today Sports betting odds for a full list. Lines last updated at 5.04 a.m. Eastern Time. Gain minus 450 is a heavy, heavy favorite, but you cannot risk four and a half times your potential return, even on an unbeaten fighter facing an aging veteran on a three-bout losing skid. Gain by Coke TKO, DQ or submission minus 150 is the better play on the five-way line. As such, this one won't go the distance, but playing number minus 250 is just too expensive. Instead, target under 2.5 rounds minus 185 for a slightly better value. Also, going with gain in round 1 plus 210 and gain in round 2 plus 375 on the round betting lines is a good value if he can win in either of the first two rounds. Yes, you will lose one end, but he'll still be well ahead if he cashes in either, particularly if he wins in the second. To watch the Early prelims and prelims, sign up for ESPN Plus now. Get some action on UFC 256 by placing a legal sports bet at BetMGM. If you're looking for more sports betting picks and tips, access all of our content at sportsbookwire.com. Please gamble responsibly. Like, share and subscribe my channel.